Today, we'll be describing the recommended levels for a stretch of the Rappahannock River that has Class 1 to 2 rapids. Anyone who should go out should be fairly experienced and comfortable paddling their canoe or kayak through moving water. Hello, I'm Joellen Santuli, Communications Director at Friends of the Rappahannock, and today we're at our nature preserve right on the Rappahannock River in Fredericksburg. And I know lots of you are trying to plan your very own river trip. And the very first thing you need to do is make sure the river is safe to get out on that day or for your multi-day camping trip. And of course, you always need to wear a life jacket. This map shows the Rappahannock River and Rapidan access points that you might use for your canoe or kayak trip. So one of the resources we have, and it's really easy to use, is the river cam hosted on our website. It shows a great shot of right here where I'm standing right now and our color gauge. Above the green level is yellow and red above that. And if it's in the yellow or red section, it is not safe to get out on the river that day. It means it is too high, the river is moving too swiftly, and it would be very difficult for you to get rescued or helped in a situation like that. Here in Fredericksburg, we have those great colored river gauges and they're great visual representations to see what's going on the river that day. But on other sections of the river, it's really best to use the USGS water data site and the NOAA river forecast website. And you can check how the water is flowing at each of those public access sites. And there is a great resource through the USGS and they're actually the ones who maintain the water data at each of those locations. And you can click on a map within Virginia and look at different sites along the Rappahannock River and check in to see how the river is flowing on the Rapidan in Culpeper. Or you can see how the river is flowing on the upper Rappahannock at Kelly's Ford. And you can see how the river is flowing at Mott's Run Boat Launch in Fredericksburg on the Rappahannock. And each gauge shows you current water temperature, flow and turbidity, which is also a key data source for those of you who like to fish. If you use those data points, you can see how the river is flowing and if it's at a safe level for you to get out on the water that day. If you're trying to plan and forecast in the future for a multi-day trip or an overnight canoe trip, you can go to the NOAA River Forecast site. And that's a great resource because it shows you anticipated increase in water level and how it's going to you know kind of come down from there um it shows it uses data from the last several years on water quality and it can show you how much water is going to hit from a recent storm event and how it's going to flood different sections of the river so each public access point along the river has different recommended safety levels and that will determine if you have good flow and if it's safe enough to get out on the water that day. So up at Kelly's Ford on the upper Rappahannock, the maximum recommended safe level is five feet. Going over to the Rapidan River in Culpeper, the maximum recommended safe level is four feet. And then here in Fredericksburg at our Mott's gauge, the maximum recommended safe level is three and a half feet. So you can use those guidelines to help make sure that you're getting on the river at a safe level. If you go out when it is higher than that maximum safe level, you could put yourself in a lot of danger. At those higher levels, those rapids could easily turn your boat over, swamp your gear, and it could be difficult to safely get back onto shore. So let's do a quick recap on how to get out on the river and enjoy it safely. Always wear your life jacket and make sure you check to make sure the river is at a safe level that day. You can use our river cam on our website. You can go to the USGS water data site, and you can also go to the NOAA River Forecast website. And just to remind you, the safe levels at these access points are five feet at Kelly's Ford, four feet at Ely's Ford, four feet at Hunting Run, and three and a half feet at Mott's Run. Happy river adventures.